Ahoy friends! Ready for an exciting adventure? Today, we're unraveling the amazing stories of Leif Erikson Day. Discover the secrets of brave Vikings and the first explorer of North America. Get set for a journey into the unknown. Adventure awaits. Let's embark together. Once upon a time, more than 1,200 years ago, in a land far, far away, there lived brave and hardy people known as the Norsemen or Vikings. They called the chilly lands of Scandinavia their home. Picture countries like Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland, and Greenland, all wrapped up in ice and snow. These tough Vikings lived in long, narrow wooden houses covered with earth and grass. And guess what? Families as big as yours and mine all lived together under one roof. In the warmer months, the Vikings became skilled farmers and took care of animals. But they were also amazing sailors who learned to navigate by the sun, stars, and ocean clues. Their strong long ships carried them on exciting journeys to trade and discover new lands. Some Vikings decided to trade with other tribes, but others became a bit, well, like pirates. They'd find coastal villages, take their treasures, and run away Viking style. They became famous and feared. Stories about their adventures spread through the ages, making people think all Vikings were pirates. One Viking chief in Greenland was Eric the Red, known for his fiery red hair and beard. He had a hot temper to match. Eric and his wife, Jode Heil, had three sons, Thorvald, Leif, Thorstein, and a sister named Freydis. Leif, Eric's son, was raised by a friend named Turker. He learned hunting, fishing, sailing, and navigating essential Viking skills. Like all great Vikings and his father, Leif wanted to explore the world outside of his homeland and discover new lands. Leif's adventurous spirit led him to explore beyond his homeland. He sailed west, across the Atlantic Ocean. After many days of sailing across the Atlantic Ocean, they spotted land. And this is North America. He named the new land Vineland because they found grapes there. He was the first European to reach the New World, even before Christopher Columbus. <laughs> you may not know the fact that, in 1925, American President Calvin Coolidge recognized Leif Erikson as the discoverer of America, not Columbus, as rumored. During his journey after discovering North America, Leif Erikson's team met native people and faced challenges and sailed back to Greenland to share their discovery. They named it Markland but kept exploring, searching for the perfect place. They reached a lake with fresh water and bountiful fish. Excitedly, they set up camp and ventured further, stumbling upon a vineyard with grapes. Leif decided to name the new land Vineland in what is now modern-day Canada. Every year, on October 9th, we come together to celebrate Leif Erikson Day. The date was chosen because the ship restoration coming from Stavanger, Norway, arrived in New York Harbor on October 9, 1825. This was the start of the first organized immigration from Norway to the United States. In honor of Leif Erikson's incredible achievements, many places have erected statues or sculptures of him. One of the most famous statues is located in Boston, Massachusetts. These statues serve as a way to remember and pay tribute to the Viking explorer's remarkable contributions to history. Be an explorer like Leif Erikson. Explore books, traverse countries, and make maps. This Leif Erikson day, cheer for the adventures awaiting you. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.